All right, so I don't know what happened with my camera right there. So again, just showing. Again, let's see. It used to be dripping. Come on, there we go. <laughs> so let's put this aside for right now. Uh, there we go. Um, let's just pour this in without the lid. I will we'll put the lid on after um, done with the video. Nope, yep, that's what happens when you don't have to lid. Oh well. Alright, so. Oh, this uh, comes out. Probably just look much darker if I actually um, had poured the full cup in. Anyway, let's just give this a taste right now. Oh, yeah, there's definitely that bitterness from the darker roast. Again, not much. Uh, Yep, definitely. And obviously, it's not acidic at all. Um, hmm. Yeah, there it is. Again, I probably will want to try the one that's straight in the middle eventually. But again, if you're drinking a lot of coffee, especially without creamer or sugar, you might <laughs> you might maybe want to want that's a little bit on the darker side on um, the roast. That's the like slightly. City roast, but you've just a lot lighter. It was a bit more acidic. Don't get me wrong, your city was fine, but probably you probably might have wanted some cream, otherwise, you, you drink so much of it, and then you realize that oh, your stomach's starting to get a little bit more acidic than it should. Which is weird because orange juice says around a pH of two, and coffee thinks around five or four, depending on the brew, but again. It's still odd how even the coffee that's uh, even on the acidic side, it's less acidic than orange juice. But again, but then again, that might be a tone situation. And even the water has pH of seven it or so forth. But either way, it's fine. So pretty good cup of coffee and. Definitely a lot more. Again, I want to finish this just so I can put the lid on. You know, it's a good cup. Um, definitely tastes uh, bitter because, again, it is darker roast. Let's see if there's any acidity or if I could taste any bit last bit of the acidity that's in there. So, It's only a little bit more bitter than I like it, which is fine. It's still much less bitter than uh, the other uh, cups of coffee I've made, where that they just do were so bitter. But obviously, it's dark roast. So again, again, it's more bitter, but it's more bitter than relative to the other very light roast one. So it's still pretty darn good cup of coffee and again i don't want to let this coffee cool or loose anymore it's flavor so uh, um again all right thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one hopefully you can know what kind of uh beans you want from the whole food uh whole foods 365 brand they also have the organic version i got the non-organic just um uh just to again we'll, we'll work up to the whole foods ways just because they do it just comes with the prime so prime membership and grow whole foods and i figured might as well do the beans there as the other ones are just they're all very covered very well but these are not so again let's get my two cents on that and uh, hopefully i don't uh overdo it on the coffee today and that will but um, then leading to me where i can't sleep and stuff but uh, either way it's fine um Love, 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 love by Bonavita, but the beans are, depending on the roast, are 
deciding where, where, where I'll want my rows to go, especially. Again, the bitter ones I think maybe are, I think I'll want those for the winter months and maybe the lighter rows uh, for the summer months. Just again, maybe I'll just um, brew it like that and uh, the lighter rows I'll probably just um, make it, um, turn that into iced coffee and then the iced coffee is where I'll put in a bit of the maybe milk or cream or sugar. That's, that's what I, how I'd usually go for my iced coffee, either way. So we can so pretty darn good cup of coffee, and I can still drink this without any cream. So I'll, I'll tell everyone else um, maybe once a uh, full review on this would eventually come out. As this coffee part is sort of like the little part of the review channel that, again, still ties into Amazon because they bought out food, so... And I really do like watching the coffee reviews and opinions. I'll give it to you smell. Yeah, it kind of smells like a bit like black tea. Again, a little bit less potent, potent tea coffee smell, which it's interesting for. It's an interesting refresher, definitely, but it's not the normal coffee smell I want. Maybe the beans were its batch, maybe, but. Either way, um, all right, uh, I definitely want to put on the craft lid on the craft. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.